Okay, boys and girls, this is a video I'm going to make. I'm going to try to splice it all together, but if I have trouble with my video software, I guess I'm going to make it in parts. What I'm going to do is try to take you through the steps on changing the rear brake shoes on a 1994 Dodge Ram 2500 12-valve Cummins with a 5-speed transmission. Um, I'm going to be replacing the shoes on the rear, and um, after I take the nuts off, I'm going to show you what I've done, but I, I can't stress safety is important. I spent 20 minutes prepping this truck. All wheels are chocked, all the wheels. I have a jack stand and my 20-ton uh, hydraulic bottle jack that I use on my large semi-truck. That's all under this side, and it's secured. Okay, this is part two after I removed the wheel. I found out I couldn't slide the drum off. So I'm underneath her. Um, little tip. I spent like six dollars for this little do bad. It's for adjusting the, the star wheels on different vehicles. Uh, it, it did its purpose. You can tighten it up easy. But what I found out is I used a small screwdriver. As you go in there and you put the tip along the top of the, the adjuster and you slide it toward where the star ratchet is and you slightly push, you'll feel like a spring motion. Push that outbound, outboard away from the truck, and that should release the star wheel. Good old screwdriver in here. You rotate it counterclockwise this way up to loosen the drum. I mean, correction, the shoes. You rotate it clockwise that way down to tighten the shoes. So I'm going to finish loosening up the shoes, and we'll take it from there when I get it off. Okay, I finally got the drum off with my handy dandy little hook tool that I heat and beat. What I do is I hooked it behind the edge here and with a judicial flight wrapping with a good five pound sledge, um, vibrated it, broke it loose, and slid it right off. Okay, this is what guns look like. Need to clean everything out of there. It looks like I'm going to be taking everything apart. Okay, when you reach through the back hole, what you're trying to do is, you're trying to, this is the star adjustment wheel. That's what I was pointing to. You're trying to push this, this arm here, back away from the wheel. So that way you can adjust it, um, take it in so you can slide the drum off. This allows the ratchet when you go this way, like I was pointing, you'll tighten it up when you go down that way. On the inside, it'll loosen it up. Okay, at this point, either photograph it, video every piece that you got all the way around, and take plenty of pictures. You'll never have too many pictures. Because I'm doing one wheel at a time, the other one's on the ground. That's just extra safety. Okay. I was able to take the whole unit off this one piece. These little springs here, like these, they go in right here. Well, this one goes on the other side. Well, correction. <laughs> this goes on this side like so. It fits in there. You got little pins right here that come out. There are little um, flanges on the end of them like this. See, like they look, look like spades. Okay, what you do is you grip them with a pair of pliers. You push them in, compress the spring a little bit, and rotate so that slot lines up with the blade, and then these will just come right off. Okay. On this one in the back, it's got the adjustment lever, everything for the parking brake, all that here. Okay. Just pop the C-clip right there. Let's see where the end of my finger is. Uh, flat blade screwdriver, just pop that out, and that'll drop right out, and you can take the whole unit out as one unit. And then you use your new shoes as a template. You put it all back together, and then you just slide it all back on again. And I'll show you once I get it back on. Okay, I'm about ready to put the shoes back on. I put anti-aluminum seed compound every contact point. Maybe some people think it's an overkill, but I'd rather do that. So here's the shoe laid out, ready to go back on. And the hardware kit did not contain all the damn springs, so... You might have to wind up using some of the old ones if you need to, or try to get the proper one. <laughs> this is the little pivot here that goes up here. 
Dink, 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 dink. There we go. There you go, all back together. The most difficult thing I had was holding all this assembly together while I was trying to get that cap back on. Um, out of the tools that I've used, they have one that looks like a plier hand, uh, I mean a screwdriver handle with um, this um, out of one end and this out of the other end. But I tell you, this one with the pliers, I didn't use the plier like device on the end. But I tell you, the extra length of the handle gave me some leverage when it comes time to put any springs back on. And I'll tell you, unless you're a super body lifter, yeah, these things are strong. Well, now all i got to do is just button it back up, make my adjustments for my parking brake. Uh, these back up a few times, you know, apply the brakes on firm. The uh, adjuster should kick in and, and finish it up. There you go.